Hey y'all, it's me, Slay by Jordan, and the company I'll be working with today is Jolissa Hair. They sent me over a Waterwave 13 by 6 3D lace frontal wig in 34 inches. It is also 250% density. Inside your package, you'll receive lashes, two wig caps, an elastic band, an information card, and also an extra satin bag to put your wig in once you are done with it. The wig comes with three combs in the inside and also an adjustable strap in the back. It is a full 13 by 6 lace front wig. Now the tracks in the back are actually 34 inches, but the actual frontal piece is 20 inches. So the frontal piece is 20 inches and the back is 34 inches. Now that may be a problem for some people because they may want all their hair the same inch. So I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. So now we're just going to go ahead and start with our ball cap process. I'm using the free spray to secure her cap. Now we're taking our Ruby Kisses RDL 14, level 14, the lightest shade in the palette. And we're going to put that all across the cap to make it better blend in with her skin. And we're also going to put this same makeup on the lace. Now you're just gonna adjust the wig on your head exactly where you want it to lay. Make sure that this wig is in front of your actual cap some because you don't wanna glue the hair directly on the cap. You wanna have it just a little bit in front of the cap. That way it'll hold better. And also today I won't be sewing this wig down. I'll be using the adjustable straps on the back to secure the wig. And these adjustable straps were so good. The wig felt really secure. She was like, oh, I don't even need any threads. So yeah, shout out to your list of hair.
Shout out to my girl, Beautiful Hustler. We'll be using her lace melt adhesive today, three layers. You can go get it on her website, ibhslays, ibhslays.com, or you can visit her Instagram at underscore Beautiful Hustler. Now this first layer, I'm gonna put the glue on the edge of the cap and I'm gonna smush it down real hard using the end of my razor. I'm not using the actual razor, I'm just using like the, the solid stick part of it. And I'm pushing it down, that way I'm gonna melt that cap in. I'm gonna let that dry first. Then my second and third layer, they're just gonna be like how I do my normal layers. I'm just gonna dot it along the cap and smooth it out with my popsicle stick. You wanna make sure that your cap is secured to your head first before you do your other layers. That way, once you lay your wig down, you won't be able to see your cap. It'll be just like a seamless install. Once that third layer is dry, we're gonna go ahead and lay that lace down. And then we're gonna take our blow dryer on warm just to melt that lace in some more. And if any parts of your glue were a little bit still white, this heat will help that um, white turn clear. So heat is definitely good when you're trying to melt your lace. Just don't use too, too much, you know, cause you still want it to actually secure to the head. And sometimes too much heat can make the, the glue too warmed up that it's not sticking. So yeah, just use a little bit of heat. Now after we've tied that lace down and let it sit for 10 minutes, we're gonna take it off and proceed to cut the excess lace using our eyebrow razor and our shears if need be.
Now we're gonna go ahead and separate out her hairs that we're gonna use for her baby hairs. And once we get done separating those, we're gonna spray our hairspray across the lace and we're gonna tie it down again with our elastic band. This will help further mitt the lace. And this will also go ahead and pre-position the hairs in the way they should lay. That way when it's time to do your baby hairs, you don't have to fight with them. During quarantine, I have been taking some lace classes with some other fellow stylists, and I've learned some new tricks and some new products to use to help, you know, make my lace game, you know, top notch. So today I'll be using a new hairspray and a new mousse to melt the lace into later baby hairs. Unfortunately, I won't be giving away these gems on YouTube. However, don't worry, I'll be having one-on-one -on -one lace classes as soon as this COVID-19 pandemic is over, and I'll be giving you all my tips, tricks, secrets, anything you want to know. I'm not holding anything back, so stay tuned for that, you all. In the meantime, all of my other videos are very informative, and all the products I use in those videos are great as well, so don't sleep on them. Can we stop for a second and see how melted this lace is like come through? And if you guys didn't know, transparent is my favorite lace. You don't need HD lace just to get good results. You just need good techniques. And that's all that matters.
And once you get done laying your baby hairs how you want to, we're gonna tie that down with two wrap strips and you're gonna let her sit there for about 30 minutes since we don't have an overhead dryer and I don't feel like actually blow drying it. So we're just gonna let her sit there for about 30 minutes. And look at these baby hairs, y'all. Period. And how did I do on her makeup, y'all? I think I'm getting a little bit better at makeup. I've been watching crazy videos and trying to learn some different techniques and see why you use this and why you don't do that and whatnot. So, you know, I'm trying to get into makeup. But, you know, makeup is kind of scary for me because it's new to me. But, you know, I'm going to tackle that thing, though. But today, we're just going to do like a natural flip over, a natural, you know, this is my real hair. Like, what you mean? What wig, you know? Give you that jungle fever vibes. And y'all, look at how pretty this hair is. Oh my God, y'all. When I took the hair out the pack, I was like, girl, I'm gonna get this wig for myself. What you talking about? This hair was so soft, y'all. And if you really, really know me, you know I hate water wave or loose wave hair. But yo, listen to hair. Y'all have completely changed my mind. Like, really, really. I really enjoyed this wig. And I appreciate how full it was for the length. I can definitely appreciate that. And that lace, yes, that lace was good quality. So once again, this is a water wave lace front wig. 13 by 6 3D lace. It is 34 inches. And it is 250% density. Make sure you guys like, share, comment, and subscribe. And turn your notification bell. I have more uploads coming next week. Thanks for watching.